look so silly wearing this. Hi guys, so today I'm doing something a little different. This is my first little like makeup tutorial on my page. I'm really excited. So I tend to not really wear makeup every single day. I always put my brow gel on and my mascara and lip balm, but day to day, I don't really bother. But I'm going to the races at the weekend and I thought, let's just play around with makeup today. In terms of coverage, I go at very, very light. I just focus on that really soft, glowy, your skin but better sort of vibe. So I'll be giving you a bunch of tips today and just things that I've learned along the way of what I do. And yes, let's get started. So I'm actually gonna do my base first. I'm gonna prime with this Beauty Crop Rose Glow Hydrating Primer. Um, I don't use a lot of this because I've said in the past, I go oily when it comes to summer. So I normally do switch to my YSL Blur and Primer, but because I want a really glowy base, I'm gonna use this. And also the Beauty Crop are just, amazing like they just hit the nail on the head with all of their different primers use my hands and just pop this over my face so this goes super super tacky i don't know if you can hear it i'm going to go in with my next step this is a holy grail product i'm about to talk about i'm obsessed with this product so this is the iconic london radiance booster in shade shell glow very thick um, and basically, this works like all of the things that are going crazy, so like the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, the e.l.f. one. So it works like this. Some of those, for example, they have a bit of coverage, whereas this is specifically focusing on the glow side of things. So I'm going to use a flat brush for this, and I'm just going to spread it over my face and pat it in as well. I kind of do like a pat and spread motion. As you can see, it just gives you an amazing glow. If I feel like my face looks a bit dull, I will just literally use this on my face, but on the high points, I won't go all over like I'm doing now. Oh my God, I'm just obsessed with this. I can't wait to use this on my holiday. So now I'm going in with the Super Smoother Blurring Skin Tint. I've got an itch. <laughs> so this is Iconic London as well. If, if someone was to say, what is your favorite brand? I'd say Iconic London. It's not talked about enough. I feel like this brand, goes under the radar a bit. Honestly, Iconic London, I've not used a product from them that I've not liked, and I use a lot of their products. I am gonna pop it on just like this. I use one drop, then I go in with my finger and just pop it over, like that. So I really like the Sosu Beauty Bender. I do have the Coco Cosmetic Sponge, but it's a bit dirty right now, so I'm not gonna use that today but I am going to just let you see how gorgeous this is on the skin. It's such a light coverage. So I'll beauty blend, beauty blend for quite a while. I'll just sit here and just pat, really make sure everything is in the skin. One of the biggest things I advise and say is you have to have patience with makeup. Like you can't sit and just put things on really quick and not blend, you have to blend things out. I think that's the main thing that people forget sometimes that you just have to enjoy the experience and just sit and just really take your time. I love a bronzed forehead and nose. They are the main points I love to bronze. So I'm actually gonna go in with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. So I'm gonna go in on there and then the tip of my nose and my chin. I might even just... I'm not using this to contour, I'm using this to add depth and bronze to my face. Obviously, if you're like me and you like a natural look, because this is sheer and because this is kind of like a skin tint or skin base, it's not adding coverage and that's what I'm trying to avoid. So I'm going to go in with this flat angle brush and kind of just feather it out because I want it to cover quite a lot of the space and make it as natural as like possible, I'm using a bigger brush. So as you can see, it's not really adding coverage, but it's adding a lovely color. Yes, look at that glossy forehead. <laughs> so I'm now gonna get rid of that and go back in with the Beauty Blender. This is my favorite, favorite concealer. I don't think any concealer could top this one. 
I have used so many. I've used the Shape Tape by Tarte. I've used the Fit Me. I've used the Maybelline one with the little creamy thing on the top thing, little brush. <laughs> the Jouer one, that one is really good for covering spots. But this is just a great all-round concealer. So this is the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer and it is in the shade Custard. So I go there, I go here. I put a dot on my eyelids, sides of my nose, on this bad boy. Then I go sides of my lips and then center of my forehead. So I'm gonna go in with a flat brush. So I use this and then I go in with my beauty blender afterwards. So tip when covering a spot, pat gently, don't spread, pat. You wanna keep that concealer where you've placed it there. Also, sometimes if I have a really harsh spot with a lot of redness, I won't even use a brush, I will conceal and then I'll use my finger and go around the spot, but not actually blend the center. So when I have blended that all out, I go back in with the sponge. So the last two cream products I'm gonna use, you always do your creams first and then you go in with your powders afterwards, are these two from Refi. So I'm going in with my cream blush first. This is a gorgeous pinky shade. This is the shade Rose. So I'm gonna go in with a more sparse brush like this. If you wanna know where these brushes are from actually, they're from Freyara. I get these obviously for the salon. I'm using my salon brushes today because my actual ones are not as nice and clean as these ones. So this is really buildable. I love using this because it is just so easy to work with. If you're just stepping into the cream blush trend, Obviously, because this is in a flat palette, it's not kind of in a tube like this. You can control how much you're using because it's not too creamy. Um, you can obviously get the ones in the squirty tubes that are much more runny. So this is where I place my blush. I also go on the bridge of my nose. And then another place I always put my blusher, swear by it, above my eyebrows here. I can't not, it just hits different. I think it makes it look more natural. It's not just, whoa, all of a sudden you've got this color on your cheeks. It's like, no, you've been on the beach all day and you've got a nice all round rosy color. Now I'm gonna go in with my favorite, well, it's on par with Shocker, the iconic London Illuminated Drops. These are just as amazing, um, very similar color. So I am going to use this tiniest amount. The reason I love this so much is because it's so glossy. It's not just shimmer. It makes your skin look wet and dewy. And then I'm going to use my finger again and tap here. Do you know what I mean by like, it's like glass. It's like glossy. It's not just, whoa. Okay, it's time to set the face. I'm not gonna open this because I smashed it, which I literally cried about because I was so sad. I literally just bought it the week before and then it smashed. So this is the Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC. The powder part is very important. I don't set my whole face, which probably will shock some people because you're like, you've got, you say you've got oily skin, but because of this combination, I have dry parts on my face and then oily parts. So I'm gonna set it with that. But before I do that, I go with my beauty blender and just make sure my eyelids haven't got any lines. And the Mineralized Skin Finish is so amazing. I can't explain it. It's just flawless. It adds a bit of coverage. I'm focusing this on the T-zone. So as you can see already, there's still a lovely glow and shine to this side, but it's just canceled out some of the unwanted shine. My Holy Grail gel, I feel like I've spoken about this a few times, is the NYX The Brow Glue. I use the applicator and I make sure I'm using a gentle hand, going with a spoolie and I go much slower and do that. Then I go in with the flat side of the spoolie and flatten the brow. We are gonna move on to the eyes. Okay, so I'm using this, it's called the Golden Age by Beauty Bay. 
perfect amount of brown shades. I kind of want to create a soft wing with the browns in the palette and that is it. I feel like I don't want to get overdo it because I know I will, will regret it. So I'm going to take the shade Glamour with a dense blender brush and just focus this on the outer corner of my eye. I'm going to go for Roaring with a round dense brush and really lightly go along my outer corner. Then I go in with my finger and just really just gently brush them out. Now I'm going in with a dense but a flat wider brush and I'm literally going to do the tiniest bit of this here. Amazing. So that is that sorted. And you know what? I might be brave <laughs> and go in with a little bit of shimmer. Just a really light coat on my eyelid. I'm gonna go with a flat but more less a less dense brush. I'm gonna pat it and get rid of the excess and just really brush lightly. Just a quick wash of shimmer. This is the Iconic London Mascara. Um, this is the Triple Threat Mascara. The reason I love this is because it's thick and it's got a tapered, small mascara wand. Put this on. Perfect. Going back to the face now, I'm gonna add myself, add myself, add a bit of color. I'm using the Revolution bronzer. This is a perfect bronzer because it's a nice brick brownie shade so it's got that orange tone to it going in with a, another blusher so this is the doll beauty this is absolutely stunning this is in the shade vacation and this is a shimmery blush i love a shimmery blush i'm not gonna lie and obviously you can see i've got a nice color already by using the refi but i just want to intensify it just that bit more of course forehead Perfecto! Okay, let's set the face. I'm going to be using the Beauty Crop Way Chere. <laughs> it's the Hydrating Jewel Phase Setting Mist. So let's get the hair out of the way. This is my lip combo for today. This is what I'm thinking of using on the day as well. So I'm using the Peaches and Cream Lip Liner in shade Praline the lipstick of choice this is actually from Primark and I'm obsessed because it's just perfect it's not thick it don't give you that line and it's not matte it's glossy and it's the perfect shade so this is the luster lipstick as you can see it's got a nice satin finish to it so you could leave it like this but I want a bit of gloss I'm going to use the Fenty gloss this is the fussy shade this is just going to bring a bit more pink back in. And that's it. Oh my God. I'm so I'm very, very happy with this. Nothing full on. As you can see, I'm going to come up close with my little funky white headband. Oh, literally can't do. <laughs> Let's take this out. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Something a little different to what I've done so far on this channel. I will see you in my next one. Goodbye. Thank you.